on Zifun, a self-taught maverick was part of the artist generation that heralded Hong Kong's first endeavor to form a new visual language. This language would then address the pertinent question of overlapping cultures and a pervasive sense of in-betweenness. Han's artistic career only began in earnest when he was 34. Upon returning to Hong Kong in the 1950s, Han became a full-time postal inspector and achieved financial security with which he could finally teach himself painting. He would spend his weekends venturing around on his motorbike with an easel and painter's box, executing a number of plein air paintings. In the late 1950s to early 1960s, Han focused on realistic landscapes with an impressionist style. This practice fostered his focus on shape, form, light, shade, and color. In 1964, Han co-founded the pioneering and modernist Circle Art Group. This group strived for a global vision as they examined notions of East meets West in Hong Kong abstract art. In 1969, Han was the first Hong Kong recipient of the John D. Rockefeller Third Fund to study in New York. By then, his art already displayed an experimental streak. Merging pop art sensibilities with the artist's now distinctive circle motif, his monumental triptych Bath of Fire combined silkscreen images of his earlier works, unsent letters, personal photographs, as well as poems in Chinese calligraphy. In our first talk of the summer talk series on the development of Hong Kong art, Toi Yanzi, Han's lifelong partner spoke about several of his artworks. She cited major events from the 1960s, ranging from China's Cultural Revolution to the Beatles, as having significantly influenced his work. From the late 60s until Han's stroke in 2000, the Taoist circle motif was featured extensively in his practice. Embodied with perfect understanding of its features, close observation of its texture, coupled with continued practice and refinement, Han mastered the circle as his reference point for absolute expression. Alice in Fine Arts began showing Han's work in 1983 and since then has held two solo exhibitions for the artist, in 2000 and 2005 respectively. Our current exhibition, Uniquely Hong Kong, features Han's Spell of Space. This painting was done in 1994 at the height of his artistic career when he moved temporarily to Canada. During this period, he left behind the circle motif and vowed to go back to wherever he came from, both literally and metaphorically. Thus, after his return to Hong Kong, much of Han's mature work expresses his preoccupation with place and notions of belonging. Spell of Space creates a sensation of movement, capturing the way revisiting places can trigger vivid memories. Additionally, the work's title alludes to the vague notion of space and its spellbinding interpretation of being wherever one pleases to be. While Han is advanced in his years, his later work emanates dynamism and ambition consistent with his younger self. This painting's dramatic brushwork and bold palette speak across time to his 1960s experiments with calligraphic ink. In March 2019, Asia Society Hong Kong exhibited a story of light, Han Zifun, a major retrospective of the artist's work. Han sadly passed away three weeks before the opening of this exhibition. Han's enduring legacy, that of his pioneering spirit, is recognized as one that helped build Hong Kong's art scene. Over his multi-decade career, Han presented his work at various institutions, including at the Hong Kong Museum of Art, the Hong Kong Art Center, Guangdong Museum of Art in Guangzhou, and National Museum of Fine Arts in Beijing.